So we have been installing um, two air systems in this house, meaning that it's a big, large, spread out ranch. And in order to be able to fit uh, a single system and all the ducting to cover the entire house, it would have been a little difficult um, without getting rid of some of this uh, open attic space here. It really would have been hard to get um, the ducting connected from that side over to here without doing fully custom duct work. Um, so what I actually decided to do, which I'm actually really happy with um, the outcome, is going with two separate air handlers, one for this wing of the home and one for that one. So that will cover, one system will cover all the bedrooms, bathrooms, and this system over here will cover the um, hallways, the dog's room, the living room, the entire kitchen area. Uh, and both of these units will also still heat uh, this entire area up here. There, there will be a wall closed off here eventually. So um, we do have the system split like that. So what I've been doing is I installed this main trunk. The air handler itself will sit in this area uh, with the return coming up through the floor there. So these are our main duct runs right here and tapped off of that are all of the takeoffs that you could see on the bottom there that run to each bathroom, bedroom, um, and whatnot. So I also stubbed some out that'll take care of this attic area up here for the future. So I could always get to this part and point them in whatever direction or run them wherever I'd like. I put one down there, uh, one here, because I really don't know how I will frame out these rooms up here. Um, it's just kind of bonus area, so there will be some rooms, a bathroom up here. Uh, so I just left my um, self some, some ability to run additional ducts where I need. I did the same thing over here on this portion. Um, I ran... Sometimes we'll, or I, I think in the future I'll pop up off this main duct on the top here, but I did run another one as well over on this side. And here it is, and poked it up right there. So um, that was it. It was a pretty um, simple system to install. I'll go down here and show you from below some of the duct that we have installed. Got my helpers here today. Mostly getting in the way. Um, so here's the runs we've made off of the main duct. There's a few that will service this area, and everything is from the uh, comes from the ceiling. Nothing runs down the wall because this is optimized for air conditioning. Um, and we all know heat rises, the cold will tend to drop. So everything's coming from above. It will also, as I said, be able to heat the home, but everything is radiant heated. And I guess I could cover that so i also installed this manifold here which we've drywalled the garage wall so this is not the side you'll be uh servicing this this manifold here i just have to cut out the drywall i just had them drywall right over it. i'll cut it out and put a access panel there um i have three quarter oxygen barrier packs running up through the attic that comes down into the utility room where the boiler will be there's also going to be uh two manifolds which will cover these loops, which do the entire bedroom, bathrooms, living area. Um, so that'll be the next system we install uh, prior to getting drywall, so that way the house is heated. Um, the drywall and the mud will, will dry um, efficiently and we don't have to worry about any cracking or whatnot. So um, yeah, I think next actually after we wrap up plumbing, um, we're gonna be starting electric probably next week. So stay tuned if you haven't seen any of these videos, go ahead, subscribe, check out the playlist for all the construction work we'll be doing on here, um, and stay tuned. Plenty of videos still to come. Uh, with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.